On Sunday, I raced the Skechers Multisport Canada Kingston Long Course Triathlon. It was the third race in the Skechers Multisport Canada series, and I finished in third place. Heading into the race, I wasn't really sure what to expect from my body. I raced Lake Placid two weeks ago. In my three previous Ironman races, I've always taken a really long extended break afterwards. It's always marked the end of my season. So the shortest break I've ever had after an Ironman is about seven weeks completely off from training. So doing another race with uh, just within two weeks uh, is, uh, was all new territory for me. Over the last two weeks, I really did try and make sure that I did the right things to recover. So getting good sleep, good nutrition, I uh, got a massage, I uh, did some light, uh, some light exercises just to try and uh, help along that, uh, that recovery. So overall, I was really happy with how I felt on race day. Uh, the race started at 8 a.m. and uh, just before 8, it looked like the uh, water was going to be perfectly calm and a really great swim. But then uh, some light rain came in and the water picked up a bit of a chop and in the swim it really exposed a weakness of mine so i'm a much better pool swimmer than i am a uh, an open water swimmer and i have to uh, get better at the t technique and sighting when uh, when the water is choppy so for the uh, about two kilometer swim i came out of the water in just under 35 minutes so i was about six minutes back from uh from what i expected and uh, I think I was about three or four minutes back from the front of the race. Once I got out onto the bike, uh, right away, my legs felt pretty good. So um, heading into the race, I thought that uh, averaging somewhere between 270 and 280 watts would be, uh, would be a really good day for, uh, for me. And early on, I, um, I was able to do that through the first few kilometers, but then uh, I found that throughout the rest of the ride, I went through highs and lows. So there was times where the power came easy to me, and then there were other times where just holding 220 watts was a struggle. So through uh, throughout the entire ride, it just ended up being that up and down, much like the Kingston course, where it's constantly undulating a uh, an up and down course. Uh, when I hit the run, uh, I uh, started the run in uh, in fourth place, and. Uh, Again, it was kind of the same as my bike ride where the kilometers weren't coming as easy as I'd hoped. When I did the Welland uh, long course race, I was easily ticking off 340 kilometers, and this time 350 kilometers were a lot of effort. Uh, but I was able to um, maintain about a 350, 348 pace uh, throughout the run, and I was eventually able to catch, uh, catch third place and, uh, and hang on to third. Alex van der Linden won the race, Bed Rudson was in second, and they were well out in, uh, well out in front of me. But uh, like I said, overall was, uh, was pretty happy with how, um, uh, with how my recovery's gone and what I was able to do uh, two weeks post Placid. Coming up next for me, I'm gonna be racing the uh, Skechers Multisport Canada Brace Bridge Olympic race next weekend. And then the weekend after that, uh, it's back to Ironman racing for me at Ironman Mont Tremblant. After the race, I had the opportunity to talk to Daryl Flax, who's been involved in the Multisport uh, multi Canada series for the past four years. This is what he had to say about his race and the Skechers Multisport Canada series. Here with Daryl Flax, the winner of the long course bike run here at the Skechers Multisport Canada race in Kingston. How was your race today, Daryl? I was good. I was able to take uh, the overall win uh, with the bike, 56.2K. Um, it was a little more difficult than I expected coming from Windsor where it's completely flat. Um, I knew who my competition was, Spencer Summerfield was my uh, big competition so we traded spots throughout the um, 56k. I followed him into transition, out of transition and uh, I realized it was 15k, so I just stuck to my pace and uh, about 9k. I managed to pull ahead and hold on for the uh, the win. So overall, I couldn't have asked for a better race. Perfect. So you mentioned that you're from Windsor, so it's about eight hours to get out to this race. So why uh, why have you decided that uh, you want to be so involved in the Skechers Multisport Canada Series? Uh, Skechers Multisport Series is uh, 
you, you can't get any better. It's uh, very uh, family-oriented. They take uh, their athletes' uh, concerns into um, consideration. Mm -hmm. And uh, they treat everyone with great respect. John Salt does an amazing job. It's very well organized. And uh, without these type of races, a lot of people wouldn't get their start in sport. And that's, uh, that's what we need more of. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anyone has any concerns or any questions, there's ambassadors at the races that we answer all your questions. Um, John Salt will speak to you personally where can you get a race series where um it's like a small town home event every race perfect so uh where uh where are we gonna see you next on the, the circuit um i believe my next race will be with saga beach mm -hmm. i have i haven't done that one yet uh this is my first time doing kingston uh from there i will be doing uh lakeside the week before Barrel Man and finishing out my season at uh, Rev3 Multisport Canada uh, Barrel Man to try to defend my uh, title for uh, two years consecutive. Thanks a lot for watching this week's video. If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother.